Good evening, Milers. I thought you might want to get a little bit of an update. Here I am at the Zocalo in my new uh, home where I will be probably teaching for the next 10, year, 10 months on contract. And while I'm waiting on my food and my coffee, I thought you wanted to see how I'm hanging out in Comitán de, uh, de Dominguez on a Friday night. And I'm about to eat a nice ribeye steak. So I'm going to turn a clock around, but I want you to see, um, again, very quaint, very comfortable, very quiet, and I love the beauty of the downtown area. So I just wanted you to see where I'm kind of hanging out while I get settled into my new surroundings. Now the place that I've chosen to eat tonight is Cafe Belisario, and it came very highly rated on TripAdvisor, which is where I am a contributor. And in a moment, I'll turn the, car, the uh, camera so that you can see that I'm starting off again with coffee because I have to start tasting all of this wonderful coffee from Comatine. That's what they're known for. And I've chosen to eat outside because it is like 76 degrees and it's wonderful out here. So here's my seat. Again, I'm having a wonderful coffee with a little creme and maybe one Splenda. I almost hate to mess that beautiful coffee up. They're known for their coffee here, so let me let you see. And I wish I could turn the car camera around so we'll just do it this way and take a nice sip so you can see oh, that's good. yeah I've chosen to eat here tonight because it's Friday and it's uh, very nice out so I thought I'd just come and do some people watching in Comatan uh, we're I believe the elevation is 500, but let me get back with you on that. We're up high in the mountains, and to get in, uh, coming from uh, San Cristobal, which is where I stayed the night last night, uh, San Cristobal was up in the clouds. You can see the weather, literally. So, um, again, it's very, uh, everyone's out, either eating or shopping or hanging out with their family. Um, you do see some people in jackets because they're not used to the weather, but I have a blue jean jacket behind me, but it's, I had to take it off. It's so beautiful. And um, I just thought I would uh, treat myself. I very rarely eat steak, but this one comes with all the fixings some mashed potatoes, some pico de gallo, and uh, guacamole, kind of like um, your avocado mixed in with guacamole, almost made into another type of mashed potato just with guacamole. And for those of you who are paleo, it's meat and vegetables, basically. So I'm pretty sure that um, as is the normal, uh, tradition they will have some sweet bread on the table probably and I don't know if you can see this I'll turn the camera but there's an ice cream shop behind me so I might have to partake of that and maybe get a cone as I walk all of a quarter mile back to the hotel where I'm staying right walk off some of that food take another sip as I said earlier I'll have to remove the RV from my channel because Miles is officially um, sold to a new owner and she is so excited. She has already learned how to back up the trailer and she is part of the girls uh, group called um, Girls on the Fly that do travel trips with all types of trailers and you know it's a support group for women to encourage you to be your best self and to venture out. Today I have thought to venture out and again, just coming to Mexico, the beautiful culture and the beautiful people, I do feel more like myself and um, I'm so glad that I started the journey a year ago to start minimalism because it has taught me that I don't need a lot. And so, you know, giving away, the process of giving away things last year prepared me to do with less um, I did ship some things, you know, um, that I 
knew that I would need right away like Instant Pot for cooking because I use it every day and my water filtration, some shoes and uh, my sister helped me <laughs> because she told me you're going to need a huge suitcase and that's, that's against what I've been doing which is the tiny suitcases but she was right and I needed actually two huge suitcases. She was absolutely right. She was wonderful for helping me while I was getting reorganized and uh, trying to get prepared uh, for this big journey. But it's, it's a big one, but it's a good one. And I just refuse to com complain about little inconveniences like not having all of the stuff and creature comforts that I'm used to immediately, but that will come. So again, uh, they're bringing a couple of uh, treats. Um, you know, in the United States, your appetizers are extra. In Mexico, the appetizers are part of the meal. They bring you all this stuff that you're eating and almost you're full before you even get your uh, main meal. So I'll let you see some of the little things. They bought these nice little chips that are, of course, made by the restaurant, okay? And of course, the salsa is absolutely homemade by the restaurant, uh, by the chef here. This is a local chef that was trained in uh, Germany. And that's why I saw that on TripAdvisor. And he uses some of the uh, local uh, cuisine and the local flavors, but he puts a little spin on them and adds from the flavors of Spain and different uh, European uh, world things. So it, it, it's, it's, it's the local fare with flair. But um, I won't keep this a long video, just wanted to give you an update and let you know we're live and well from Comatime and you will see more uh, as uh, the weeks go by. But please stay tuned, please like this video and ask questions if you will. But uh, it's pretty pleasant and like I say the weather, uh, it is fall now, the weather really feels really nice and um, I won't bore you any further and I don't really want you to see me chomping on a steak. So we'll say bye for now, and we'll see you later. Um, miles and coffee in Mexico. Bye-bye.